Hello everyone, welcome back to the second session on Tangled Motives. I am Sayukta Saxena, Certified Zentangle Teacher. And this series, this session is all about exploring using the tangles uh, of Zentangle in different ways, especially in the way of a motive, uh, using them as filler tangles and creating beautiful motives out of the same set of patterns that we know already. So many of them that we know already, right? So let's get started right away. This is the last one that we, in fact, the first one that we drew, right? And today, again, I'm going to be going with a similar shape. As I mentioned in my first session also, we will highlight a shape and then use our tangles to fill it up, right? So what I'm going to do is, again, start with uh, somewhat in the same way, drawing a stem like this with my pencil because we are going to use this outline as a uh, you know string kind of thing to fill up tangles that's why I've started with my pencil and then again draw a nice spade shape right so again as I mentioned you can go with freehand drawing or you can trace the other side in fact uh, if you are too concerned about symmetry right so this is the shape that I am going to be working on today yeah so it's like heart only you connect these two it will be heart or you can call it a spade of cards right so let's get started right away so what I am going to do is again add something like the tangle, a part of the tangle Xander here, right, again creating a nice curl as we have for printums, right, so bottom is almost the same as we did in the first session, right, this section you can fill up with lines just as we do for the tangle Xander right I will also need this line center line so you can see I have drawn a reference center line here with my pencil right and then I am going to add a tangle called garland something like uh, it's called G I R L A N D E, right? It's by Simon. I'm sorry, Bishop, right? Simon Bishop. It's called Garland because it looks like one. So, what I'm going to do is add these orbs, taking reference from this page shape that I've drawn. Yeah, like this. And same on the other side again don't worry too much about if they are facing they are in symmetry if you're too concerned then trace the other side yeah we are drawing free hand here so don't worry too much about symmetry just enjoy what you are doing it will look nice yeah so this was the second thing then let us connect these just like this is a slight S shape, yeah. The stroke is very familiar, common. Just the way you connect the orbs in Cadent or Ravel. There's so many such tangles where you use this stroke. So I'm using the same stroke here to create the outer border of my motive so when I think of a motive I think of some prominent design repeating itself throughout yeah so again it is up to you you can either do it from inside or probably first one we will 
let me see if I do it like this I think it will look better the top part looks better this part yeah so we will follow the same sequence it's okay even if you do in this other way right so don't bother too much such a simple stroke and you can see just by connecting these orbs you have already created such a beautiful pattern that's the beauty of Zentangle simple strokes and the last one somewhere hidden yeah now these orbs I'm just going to leave a highlight and fill it in right just like black pearls leave a small highlight and fill it in I hope it is clear enough if I zoom in too much then I keep going out of focus so it's really challenging <laughs> yeah so leave a small gap and ink the rest of the orb to create a pearl kind of an effect right same thing on the other side So be patient even while you are inking as I keep saying always very integral part of the whole method inking small spaces big spaces intersectuses so take your time make sure there are no left out spaces and you ink evenly right now what you can do is add one more aura and some small petals like this right? so that's what I'm going to do add one nice aura and add these small little petal shapes you can also do away with the aura if you want I feel like adding one more layer so I did that you may may not do that Simple tangle to draw looks pretty nice and delicate. Yeah. Again, I'll do the same exercise on the other hand side. So don't move your hand much. As you can see, I have just rotated my paper and I'm not moving my hand much because it is already there in a position of comfort so just move your paper depending on what's your comfort position right so now it is up to you you can do the same exercise inside also or you can leave it like that add a thin aura inside right you can add this on the other side also but I'm going to leave it there and instead add a thin aura because I want to add tangles inside right 
so again so that my tangles inside don't mess around with my outer border I'm just adding a thin aura to separate it yeah. I'm going to ink this line again add a thin aura inside almost touching the border but just a minor gap there yeah so now this inverted V we have already drawn so I'm going to take a cue from this and now going to add these lines just as we draw the tangle braids again as in tangle original tangle braids right and then probably just invert rotate your tile and draw the other set of lines yeah so now we have so many spaces to tangle so let's get started I am not going to be inking these spaces instead we are going to tangle yeah so let's get started with the first double lines is must as far as tangle braids is concerned so add an aura to the lines so that the tangles look discreet they are separated if you want you can add inking to one or two sections in between or you can add inking to alternate sections whichever way you want just experiment right inking will also look nice in fact I am going to add tangles some tangles which have inked portion some which are not so going to mix things right so you can also experiment with that try pure inking for few sections try adding tangles to some other sections all that can be done right so let's get started with simple ops first probably or uh, my favorite printums arranged like snails so if you want you can break your tangles at this line or you can continue whichever way you want Right, so that's one set of tangles again inking the small spaces will always be a good idea right so we started with printums then probably we can go to hybrid a lot of tangles that you can choose from right so hybrid is generally drawn in a zigzag grid right so lines from both sides auras Again, rotate, start from the other side, so 
take your time be patient enjoy the tangles have fun with the tangles we're going to be practicing couple of them here so this is the tangle hybrid nice woven look a little variation a little inking at the ends and you create a tweed yeah then probably we'll add on a matto purely or based circles they are called orbs because you don't have to bother about whether they are perfect in shape or not insert another set in the small little spaces left okay here up to you how do you want to go about so i've inserted two Again below right that's the simple tangle on a matto you can always add something inside the orbs also so we shall see that if we want to do that later again uh, we'll go with simple flux so choose tangles that come to you easily go with those tangles choose fragments you can always divide these section into fragments and then insert fragments you know squares or triangles and there are whole lot of fragments that you can use so use your imagination use what comes easily I'm just going with what comes easily to me So we will fill in the small little intersectuses. We will have to come back to them. So first, I'm just filling up the uh, spaces, right? So as I mentioned earlier, also we will fill in some drama tangles also, so that there is some decent amount of inking also, right? So yeah, I'll just go with Knight's Bridge. So creating that square grid. And then the next step is to ink alternate spaces just like a checkerboard tangle knights bridge inspired from knights bridge area of London where these this pattern the setting is seen very commonly right so I'll just ink and get back take your time right no hurry so i'm almost finishing with my inking here right 
so the next shape that uh, next angle I would like to go with shattuck right so I'm just going to start from one side and then from the other the lines almost at 90 degrees to each other again from the other side right so I have done all these tangles in my initial videos I have taught it step by step yes the video quality may not be that good but at least the teaching part is very clear so you might want to refer to those videos if you are very new to Zentangle and Zentangle patterns or tangles it would be a nice idea to acquaint yourself with some of the tangles so this tangle is called Shattuck again it's a Zentangle original it can be drawn using curved lines, straight lines anyways right Just keep rotating and draw lines, auras and you create a beautiful tangle just by drawing lines at an angle to each other. So that's the tangle shattuck. Now we have some more spaces left. So again, up to you. What do you want to draw? Uh, probably we will go with some uh, I don't know uh, something like flux or uh, just going with floors here. So that's one section of floors. Right? And then add rounding or at the top and at the bottom. Rounding is actually the diamond that we add at the intersectices of the floors of the tangled floors right so only a part is visible that's why rounding so take your time top same exercise so the next section again I'm going to add cubine or you can add flukes whatever you feel like as I mentioned it's your space go with the tangles you feel like at that point of time yeah so I'm just going to probably go with flukes So some inking at the corner, a box and then auras, small box and then auras, small box and then auras, yeah, so that's the tangle of loops. Again, you 
it's okay if these squares are not of the same size or the number of auras are varying please don't worry about that that's not important right so again you have two more sections whatever you want to right so you can always ink one or two sections if you feel like or you can add something like uh, something cross crisscross something like there is already a triangle here so I feel like using it the shape yeah. so I'll just go with a simple fragment here spaces are less so I don't want to complicate it much go with a simple fragment yeah create a triangular space add curves on all three sides and insert an orb in the center right so this section probably I'll just ink and here I will just add some lines it's hardly visible so just go with some plain lines yeah And I'll stop here. Add some orbs here and there as far as flux is concerned. Or you can ink those small spaces. Entirely up to you. Whichever way you are comfortable. Yeah. I'm going to add one more orb inside my onomato you can complicate as much as you want right so you have to decide how much <laughs> tangliations right there is no end to it and it's very interesting so you can't really stop doing things adding things Just filling in, going back, small little intersectuses worth giving that time, making that effort. This space again, extend the lines, just like Xander. Again, I add the same weight to your printer. You can also highlight these lines, just ink it with the highlight and they pop up. Yeah, that's it, right? So let us now move on to shading. So I'm going to add some thick graphite on the inside. your time and add graphite at the edges you can also highlight each and every border that you do inside that's one more way to shade it entirely up to you how do you want to go about right let 
let's first blend this some graphite here some here Put the graphite from the edges towards the center. Blend it, blur it, soften it. Again, as far as these sections are concerned, just add a little touch on both sides. In fact, what is already there on your total line would be sufficient to touch it. Don't need much. Yeah, so just a soft touch. on both sides is all that you need right so that's how our motor for today looks like if you want you can redo the auras inside the inside aura that we had drawn can go back and retrace the line after shading right so I'm going to close it here don't forget to mention your name right that's a spade that's what we drew yesterday you can always add some corner here right and then add a background color and frame it as such right so it's entirely up to you and I shall see you again with another new session then have a good time.